Oh, with spring here, you might have spring cleaning on your mind. You're thinking about closets and kitchens, but don't forget one important cabinet, your medicine cabinet. Dr. Teresa Darnell, a community health nurse from the May School of Nursing and Health Services at Lee's McRae College over there in Banner Elk, North Carolina, is here with us this morning to sort of help guide us through the process. And it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Welcome. Well, you brought some different items, and you say one of the first things you need to do and I'm so bad at this, is check the expiration date. Yes, you'll find the expiration date sometimes are at the bottom, or sometimes they're on the side, but you really want to look for that information. Nurses are really taught in order to be able to check before they give any medications, to check to make sure the expiration date is not passed. And this is because the medication becomes ineffective the longer it stays within the cabinet. So we want to check and make sure that the medication is going to give you the oomph that you need. So once it becomes six months, eight months out of date, you're it, not getting that yes it's best time to be able to dispose of the medications properly after that time okay all right mental note I need to go through my cabinet what is that proper way then to dispose of especially like prescription medication I mean you don't just want to throw it away no you certainly don't because anything that we put into our garbage eventually ends up in our landfills and our water supply systems and so forth you don't want to ever pour medication down the toilet because it's going to go through our water treatment so now everybody's going to get what you were taking so the best way to do it is to go through through a drop box which okay. are located in the Johnson City Sheriff's Department's office. So you can take your medications there, put them into a safe place, and then they will make sure that they're disposed of properly. That is great. And what a great service to be able to do that makes it very convenient. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the things that we should always have stocked in our medicine cabinet? Sometimes that really depends on what kind of other medical conditions you may have. So you better talk to your doctor and your pharmacist about some things. Some people can't take medications like your antisteroidals, your Advil, things like that because of things that they have problems with their stomach or other medications that may complicate it. But some good things to have that I have in my medicine cabinet at home, for I'm a really bad one with mosquito bites because I'm always out hiking. So calamine lotion is a real staple in my house because okay. uh, it takes away the swelling and it makes the pain and the itching going away. Um, having some types of cold compresses, sometimes when you bump yourself, it's good to put something cold on something. And then I've got my trusty handy dandy uh, medical kit, first aid kit that I have at home that has got uh, alcohol swabs in it, um, uh, pinchers like little tweezers and things to take out slivers sometimes, mm -hmm. extra band-aids and things like that. Especially if you have kids, something like this is a necessity. Yes, very much so. And really, you said a couple times a year, it's important to just go through and see what you've got. The last thing you want to be doing, and I just saw this, a friend of mine, out at 2.30 in the morning because one of her kids had a fever and trying to find that children's medicine for them. Yes, and you, again, you want to talk to your pharmacist sometimes because there's a lot of different medications out there. Talk to the pharmacist because they're the best one to be able to explain how's the best way to use it and what age appropriate for the child. All the nurses are taught all this medication information when they go through nursing school. Well, that's some wonderful information. We thank you so much for joining us on the show today. They've got a great website. If you would like more information, Lee's McRae College, you can give the website a look and find out the latest information. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.